Hello people, in this video we want to look at age pyramid. So basically this is coming under what? Demographic trends. So you want to understand how the population is, you want to understand how it is growing etc. Right? So you want to know the trend. So you can draw this age pyramid to understand. So look at the age pyramid. This is uh, India and Switzerland. They are compa comparing two things. So India, let's understand first. First of all, <clears throat> what you are seeing on the on this side is male and this side they have put females. Okay. Fine. What is there here? This is the age guys. Let's see it properly. Go a little this side. Yeah. See here. 0 to 4 years. These are all babies and 100 plus years is here. 100 plus will give a nice color weight. 100 plus years is here. Okay. So where are you? Which age? Somewhere here? Great. So, in India, what is this? This is percentage, okay. So, this is 5%. Okay, 5%. I am not able to draw a straight line, but anyways, 5%, 5%. So, you can see, if this is 5%, old population is really less, like right? less than 1% looks like. Less than 1% is this, this, this part. Most of the population is very young. India, right? When was this? Mid-2016. Young people are a lot. Okay. How is it going people? Okay. Now let's compare with Switzerland. Switzerland in 2016. How is it? Young people so less. These people are not at all making babies look like. And uh, middle-aged people are nice and lot of middle-aged people. Right. Old people are a little more than India. Okay. Now, let us try to understand this. Percentage di distribution by age of population of India and population of Switzerland. Okay. So, guys, look at this. India, how it is changing from 2016 to 2019. Do you see any change, guys? Not much, right? But the shape, you know, it seems to have become a little slim at this point. What do you say? It's become slimmer here. So, you can see here, here is 4.6 and 4.2. Here is 4.5 and 4.1. <clears throat> Can you see that the number of females born are becoming fewer, right? So, female photocide is there, guys, and more males are being born. Okay. So, that is something that you are understanding from age pyramid, right? The females are less. Okay. Then look at this. This is a normal, okay, in all countries what happens. Initially, there will be expanding stage. Then what will happen? This is uh, stationary phase and contracting. So, people will start reproducing less and less. So, you can see people will start reproducing less and less. So, somehow it will become like this. So, you can see down it is narrow. Expanding stage down it is more. <clears throat> Lot of people are being born. Okay. So, what are we looking at in this video guys? Age pyramid. So, did you understand something? Okay. Good. So, let's look at some text here. Okay. Now, as soon as you see this, you will say, yes, young population expanding. What about this? Aged population, aging, aging population, all these people are going to become old. Once they age, they have aged, <clears throat> something like this. The base will be narrow. Good. Let's see what the textbook says. Age structure of population is best represented as shown. So, basically, it is best represented as the pyramid. Such a representation is called as age pyramid. A vivid contrast may be seen in age distribution of men and women in India and Switzerland. Did you see any distribution uh, difference between men and women of India and Switzerland? Let's check again. Females and females. Are you seeing any difference here? My main concern is this one with females. See here, females is less than 5%. Here it's 5%. In uh, Switzerland and all, <coughs> male, female equal number of births. But you can see, Switzerland, they are uh, not producing many children. Okay. So, what did you understand guys? India has broad base. India has broad base and it has a tapering top. India has a broad base and a tapering top. So, if somebody asks you draw the age pyramid of India, how will you draw? Like that. No, 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 no. Wait, it's not like that. Something like this it is. When you have to draw it in the exam, draw like this. India has broad base, right? This is India's age pyramid. Don't forget the shape, guys. Something like this. It's not very different in the bottom. Something like this. Okay. Draw it in the exam. Okay. So, that's it with India. What happens in developed countries? In developed countries, 
as in switzerland the age pyramid sh shows a bulge in the middle okay age pyramid has bulge in the middle and it has a narrow base so they don't produce so many children they have brought their population under control etc look at this guys this is singapore see how narrow its base is i think they are really struggling to make babies but they have started making babies again after this uh, after some time looks like see here it was really narrow and then again they have started making babies looks like because they were going really narrow 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 got it guys so that was singapore let's check yet another interesting country china it had one child policy right so because of one child policy four grandparents two parents one child so this is what was happening and more male children they were making because nobody wanted a daughter who will nobody wanted daughter because they didn't want her to suffer in in loss house and leave their parents and adjust to new environment right so in the name of saving the girl child they were killing the girl child they are killing the girl child in india also okay so what you see here is male and female this is male and this is female so what you see here in 1950 look at how it was such a broad base and look at 2019 such a narrow base so everything is here in the middle aging population guys i understand that this more male children is a problem right but i don't understand why they think 4 is to 2 is to 1 is a problem they say, see they say that um, one child has to cater to two parents and four grandparents but why don't they see it as one child <clears throat> gets pampered by four parents two child and one uh, two parents so imagine this child how much care it is getting from four grandparents and two parents right isn't that good not good but why are they saying that one will have to feed these six <clears throat> i would say whatever these six have earned everything one guy is going to get so that's what i see however in india the government is not ready to address this issue of female child right why uh, see female child they say that uh, it is her duty to live with in laws and all this bullshit right so what they are not seeing in india i think this 4 is to 2 is to 1 will never be there it will be 2 is to 2 is to 1 girls parents not cared at all only guys parents will be cared for yes guys the social evil that is in india that you have to break okay so let's move on um, geriatrics you saw the life expectancy is 70 years in india so at the moment in india whoever is born can live up to 70 years average so uh, you can see japan what has happened this is japan guys uh, as you can see here in japan the population which is aged is also there and mid population there the shape is kind of weird right let's take a recap guys um, we are looking at uh, age pyramid in this video under demographic trends we are looking at age pyramid so basically this is india in uh, 2016 and this is switzerland in 2016 you can see india has a broad base while uh, switzerland has a narrow base so basically india is developing so that is why it has a broad base there's mo no more birth rate right developed countries have less birth rate okay so this is india in 2016 this is india in 2019 a little a little narrowing here what do you say guys right the problem is you can see the female uh, child is less than the male however in the developed countries you do not see such disparity between male child and female child okay then coming to stages this is the expanding stage so india is here right because we are um, having a broad base <clears throat> this is also expanding stage this is stationary stage and this is contracting where the base is becoming narrow is the color very bothersome you are not able to see properly see here this is contracting stage where the base is narrow this is expanding stage where the base is broad <clears throat> so this one will show that the population is youthful all the uh, young people are there at the bottom right so more young people so youthful population this is aging the population where middle you have more if middle you have more what does it mean these all people will become old very soon aging population and here lastly what you see here is aged population more people are old okay so this is aged population okay then this is singapore you can see they have a very narrow base right and they seem to be suddenly trying to increase birth rate okay then china how it has changed this is china in 2000 in 1950 how china was 
expanding right in 1950 it was expanding china and this is 2019 you can see it is more like aging population aging population right okay then lastly we saw that life expectancy is 70 years so obviously people will be old they will live longer and hence your uh, population will be old so that will become that will bring the issue of geriatrics the preventive and um, preventing medicine for geriatrics so here you can see japan how japan is having um, kind of aged population right what do you see yeah okay so guys uh, in this video we looked at age pyramid bye bye